Hello my dear viewers, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I have come with a new poem of class 10th Hindi, Samay Ki Pehchan, written by Siaram Sharan Gup. This is the summary. First, let us see the summary of the poem. Samay bahut anmol hai. Uska mahatwa dhan se bhi zyada hai. Is kavita dwara chhatra samay ki mahatwa samjhenge. समय अधिक महत्वपूर्ण तथा उपयोगी होता है समय को जो अपना सच्चा साथी बना लेगा वह अपने काम में सफल होगा इस कविता में यह संदेश दिया गया है कि हमें काम करने का जो अवसर प्राप्त होता है उसे व्यर्थ जाने नहीं देना चाहिए अनमोल मीन्स प्राइसलेस महत्व इम्पोर्टेंस धन वेल्थ उपयोगी वैल्यूएबल सच्चा साथी मीन्स बेस्ट फ्रेंड और गुड कंपनी सफल सक्सेस व्यर्थ व्यर्थ मीन्स वेस्टेज सो इन दिस पोएम द पोएट वॉन्ट्स अस टू नो और रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ टाइम ही सेंग दैट टाइम इज प्राइसलेस इट इज मोर प्रेशियस एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड वैल्यूएबल दैन वेल्थ usually we think that if we have money we have conquered the world everything is in our hand but here poet says no time is more important and valuable than money now why he is saying that we will see in the poem first we will see the kavi parichay about the poet kavi siaram sharan gupt ka jan 4 september 1895 को मध्य प्रदेश के झांसी के चिरगांव में हुआ था पिता का नाम सेठ रामचरण कनक ने और माता का नाम कौशल्याबाई था ये हिंदी के राष्ट्रकवि मैथिली शरण गुप्त के अनुज थे प्रारंभिक शिक्षा के बाद घर पर ही उन्होंने गुजराती अंग्रेजी तथा उर्दू भाषा सीखी 1929 में महात्मा गांधी जी के संपर्क में आकर वर्धा में रहे उनकी प्रमुख रचनाएं हैं मौर्य विजय अनाथ विषाद आर्द्रा आत्मोत्सर्ग मृणमयी बापू नकुल आदि दीर्घकालीन साहित्य सेवा के लिए उन्हें नागरी प्रचारिणी सभा वाराणसी द्वारा सुधाकार पदक प्रदान किया गया लंबे समय की बीमारी के कारण 29 मार्च उन्नीस में इनका निधन हुआ Now here the uh, first we will see the hard words. Okay, here hard word will be Anuj. See Anuj means younger brother. Okay, and uh, prarambhik shiksha means primary education. Dirg kalin sahitya seva. It means long term literary service. Nidhan means death. So here the poet C R M Charan Gupt. He was born on fourth September eighteen ninety five. in chirgaon of jhansi madhya pradesh his father's name was seth ramcharan kanakne and mother's kaushalya bai he was a younger brother of national poet maithili sharan gupt after completing his primary education he learned gujarati english and urdu languages at home in 1929 he came in contact with mahatma gandhi and stayed in vardha some of his uh, famous compositions are maurya vijay anath vishad ardra atmotsar mrunmayi bapu nakul etc so these were his compositions then for his long term literary service he was awarded sudhakar medal by nagri by nagri pracharini sabha varanasi and due to his prolonged illness he died on 29 march 1963 so this was about the poet now udyogi ko kaha nahi susmay mil jata samay nasht kar kahi sokh koi bhi pata aalas hi yah kara raha hai sabhi bahane jo karna hai karo abhi kal ho kya jaane पा सकते फिर नहीं कभी तुम इसको खोके चाहो तुम क्यों नहीं चक्रवर्ती भी होके कर सकता कब कौन द्रव्य है इसकी समता फिर भी तुमको नहीं जरा है इसकी चिंता हार्डवर्क उद्योगी उद्योगी मीन्स अ हार्ड वर्किंग पर्सन एंटरप्रेन्योर सुसमय मीन्स गुड टाइम 
अच्छा वक्त समय टाइम नष्ट मीन्स वेस्टेज डिस्ट्रॉय सौख्य हैप्पीनेस आलस मीन्स लेजीनेस बहाने बहाने मीन्स एक्सक्यूज देन चक्रवर्ती चक्रवर्ती मीन्स किंग रूलर खोके मीन्स आफ्टर लूजिंग द्रव्य द्रव्य मीन्स वेल्थ समता समता मीन्स इक्वल चिंता मीन्स टू वरी so here the poet is say, uh, saying that an entrepreneur or a hard working person will always get good time to work he will never complain or blame that he has not got time to work okay because he is a hard working person so he will always get time to work whatever he wants to do he will always be having good time to work and he also uh, the poet al also says that if you have uh, if you uh, manage your time properly if you know how to work with your time you will be successful and if you waste your time definitely you will be unsuccessful you cannot achieve your target then in second uh, stanza alas hi ya kara raha hai sabhi bahane here the poet is saying that what is the main reason why do people uh, run from their responsibility from their duty why they do not want to do their work because of laziness so laziness is the main reason why people don't want to do their work they just delay it today's work they will say that i i will do it tomorrow or day after tomorrow means they don't want to complete their task so what is the main reason for that it is laziness so we should not be lazy okay if you are lazy you will not do your work and uh, you will lose everything so he is saying that you have to be active and whatever work you have to do if it is today's task you have to complete it today itself because you don't know whether you will be alive or not tomorrow life is unpredictable no one has the guarantee that he will live for 100 years 90 years 80 years no yes so whatever work we have we have to do it now itself today itself do not delay pa sakte fir nahi kabhi tum isko khoke chaho tum kyu nahi chakravarti bhi hoke now here the poet is saying that even if you are a king even if you are a king or ruler once you lose your time once you waste your time you will regret for that means a king will also regret if he has wasted his uh, if he has wasted his time see a ruler has everything power wealth everything he has but then to in spite of having everything he cannot buy his uh, time once the time has gone it has, it is gone forever so we should make proper use of our time kar sakta kab kaun dravy hai iski samta fir bhi tumko nahi zara hai iski chinta now here uh, he is saying that even if you are having wealth in the form of gold silver platinum cash property in any form if you have wealth it cannot compensate with your time your time is more precious more valuable than all this wealth then to uh, people are not realizing this then to people are not understanding the importance of the time they are wasting their time so this is very uh, so this is the truth uh, which the poet is telling us that we know that time is very precious but then too we are not realizing it we are not applying it properly in our life समय ईश का दिया हुआ अति अनुपम धन है यही समय ही अहो तुम्हारा शुभ जीवन है तुच्छ कभी तुम नहीं एक पल को भी जानो पल पल से ही बना हुआ जीवन को मानो करना है जो काम उसी में चित्त लगा दो आत्मा पर विश्वास करो संदेह भगा दो भगा दो ऐसा सुसुमय भला और कब तुम पाओगे खोकर पीछे इसे सर्वथा पछताओगे हियर दी हार्ड वर्ड ईश ईश मीन्स ईश्वर क्रिएटर योर लॉर्ड अनुपम मीन्स अनकम्पेरेबल समय मीन्स टाइम एंड शुभ जीवन मीन्स गुड लाइफ तुच्छ तुच्छ मीन्स यूजलेस हियर द तुच्छ वर्ड इज यूज टू दो पीपल हु डोंट रियलाइज द वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम मीन्स इग्नोरेंट पीपल 
useless people idiot people do, uh, they uh, they don't value their time so here this word is used for those people okay tuch pal pal means second seconds then chit means uh, full attention full concentration focus 100% concentration that is chit atma means soul vishwas vishwas means confidence sandeh sandeh means doubt negative thoughts that comes in our mind that is sandeh susamaya means good time acha waqt sarvatha sarvatha means always pachtaoge means regret so now here समय ईश का दिया हुआ अति अनुपम धन है यही समय ही अहो तुम्हारा शुभ जीवन है हियर द पोएट इज सेइंग दैट टाइम इज वेरी प्रेशियस एंड अनकंपेरेबल वेल्थ गिवन बाय गॉड टू अस टाइम इज अ अनकंपेरेबल वेल्थ गिवन बाय गॉड टू अस ईच ऑफ वन ईच ऑफ ईच ऑफ वन हैज 24 आवर्स अ डे यस वी कैन नॉट से दैट आई हैव Uh, 10 hours and you have uh, 24 hours no one can blame that no one can say that because god has equally distributed time to everyone so it is uncomparable wealth given to us and uh, see some people uh, believe that whenever they want to start any work they see good time and bad time today i will not start because today if i do it will be unlucky for me so here the poet is saying it is nothing like that good time and bad time is just in our mind so the present moment which we are living that is only our good time whatever you want to start start it today itself now itself because it is only the best and good time okay now the next कुछ कभी तुम नहीं एक पल को भी जानो पल पल से ही बना हुआ जीवन को मानो नाउ ही सेइंग दैट तुच्छ मींस यू पीपल यू यूजलेस पीपल यू विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड द ट्रू वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम ही सेइंग दैट यू यूजलेस पीपल यू पीपल विल नेवर अंडरस्टैंड द वैल्यू ऑफ टाइम इवन ईच सेकंड ईच सेकंड इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन आवर लाइफ okay if uh, for example if you calculate your age how will you calculate you will say that i am 15 years 8 months 2 weeks 8 days old okay for example so how you calculated uh, your age with the help of time with the help of time like years months weeks days so this is pal pal means the uh, combination of uh, or you can say a blend so time is our life time is our life it is very valuable even our life is dependent on this time if we want to calculate our age we calculate with the help of time karna hai jo kaam usi mein chit laga do atma par vishwas karo sandeh baga do now here the poet is saying that whatever work you have to do you you do it with your full uh, full uh, concentration you pay your full attention towards it and you believe in your own self and you have to remove all the negative thoughts from your mind you can take your own example you uh, you are you people are uh, appearing uh, for 10th this year yes so you are preparing for your board exam if you have a doubt in your mind that whether i will be able to pass or not whether i whether i pass or fail so it shakes your confidence level right so here the poet is saying that whatever uh, you are doing what for, for whatever work you are preparing you have to uh, do it with full confidence you have to give your 100% in that you have to believe in yourself and you have to remove all the negative thoughts fears uh, that whether i will pass or fail all those negative thoughts you have to remove it from your mind then only you can achieve your target now last uh, two lines aisa susmay bhala aur kab tum paoge khokar piche ise sarvatha pachtaoge now he is saying that uh, this good time which you have got now you will not get this again this is your best time this is your good time so you have to utilize it properly if you lose this time you will definitely regret in future definitely you will have to regret for that 
So without wasting even a second, we have to make proper use of it. We have to manage our time properly. Then only uh, we will be happy in our future. So this poem was about uh, the importance of time. The poet wanted us to know the true value of the time. I hope you understood this poem. If you like it, hit the like button, share and subscribe it. Thank you.